Hi, this is Jen Psaki, the White House Press Secretary. Today, the President is traveling on his second foreign trip. He's going to be visiting Rome to attend the G20 meeting, and he's going to be visiting Glasgow, Scotland, to attend the COP26 meeting. Uh, at both of these meetings, he's going to be meeting with fellow world leaders to tackle and talk about some of the biggest crises we face, whether it's the global economy and leveling the playing field on taxes around the world, or the climate crisis and working with countries around the world to tackle that existential threat. The G20 is a group of 20 countries in the world that make up 80% of the global economy. A big topic of discussion at the G20 this year will be the global minimum tax. Now, around the world, there's no minimum tax that countries have to pay. So what happens is countries compete with each other for lower tax rates. That shouldn't be what we're competing over. Right now, domestically in the United States, the president is working to get a 15% global minimum tax passed here because last year, 55 of the top corporations paid nothing in tax. That's not a fair tax system. But it can't just be here in the United States. We need the global community to have the same rules. We need the same rules of the road in every country around the world. So what we're working to do and what the president's been leading the effort on is to getting 130 countries around the world to commit to this 15% global minimum tax. From the first day of his administration, President Biden has been focused on regaining America's place in the world, seat at the table on issues like climate. He rejoined the Paris Climate Agreement, and he convened world leaders for a climate summit to talk about how we can work together to address these issues. COP26 major goal is to prevent global temperature from rising 1.5 degrees Celsius above what it was before the Industrial Revolution. This is a big undertaking because we need the biggest global emitters, not just the United States, but countries like China, India, and many countries around the world to commit to ambitious and aggressive goals, just like the president's working to do here in the United States. Be sure to follow along as the president leads these important conversations on his second foreign trip around the world.